In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 7, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Boston Red Sox vs. Tampa Bay Rays The Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays wrap up their three-game series on Wednesday night in Tampa. The Red Sox have seemingly transitioned to the role of spoiler as the season winds down while the Rays are still very much in the hunt for the American League East Division and an American League wildcard berth. On Wednesday, the Red Sox will send Nick Pivetta to the mound to oppose left-hander Jeffrey Springs of the Rays. The Red Sox are 15-6 in their last 21 versus a lefty starter and 2-6 in their last 8 Wednesday games. Boston is 7-23 in their last 30 on turf. Meanwhile, the Rays are 35-16 in their last 51 at home and 6-2 in their last 8 Wednesday games. Tampa is 17-5 in their last 22 overall. The Rays have won 6 of their last 7 games and 9 of their last 10 home games. They're playing very well offensively, scoring 16 runs in their last 4 games. Expect them to play well offensively in this game because they hit the ball well against right-handers and Pivetta has been shaky on the mound in recent starts, giving up 8 runs in his last 3 starts. He gave up 12 runs in in his last two starts against the Rays and will have a hard time slowing them down. The Red Sox are also playing well, but they have struggled on the road, losing four of their last five road games. Even though they are playing well offensively, they will have a hard time scoring against the Rays because Springs has done a good job on the mound, giving up seven runs in his last four starts. He gave up seven runs in his last five home starts and won't have trouble keeping Boston's offense in check. So the Tampa Bay Rays money line is our full game side pick. The four runs Boston scored on Tuesday was a high watermark allowed by the Rays in this current home stand. Boston is 5-2 to two to the under in their last seven games against a left-hander. Boston has also gone to the under in seven out of their last ten games against a team with a winning record on the road. The Rays are now 4-2 to two to the under in their last six games. The Red Sox are averaging 4.56 runs per game and 4.43 runs per game on the road. They averaged four runs per game in their last three games against the Rays. With Tampa Bay giving up 3.36 runs per game at home, the Red Sox will be held under their average in this game. The Rays are averaging 4.26 runs per game and 4.2 runs per game at home. They averaged 5.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Red Sox. Plus, the Rays and Red Sox played under the total in two of their last three meetings. With Boston giving up 4.6 runs per game on the road, the Rays won't score enough runs to push the score past the total. Look for Spring to continue his hot pitching and turn the game over to a rested back half of the bullpen for a low-scoring W under the projected total as our full-game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Miami Marlins are in the city of brotherly love on Wednesday for the middle game of a three-game series at Citizens Bank Park against the Philadelphia Phillies. Miami is out of playoff contention, trailing first place in the National League East by 29 games, while Philadelphia is 11 half games back in the National League East and tied for second in the National League wildcard chase with San Diego. Left-hander Trevor Rogers gets the nod on the mound Wednesday for Miami, while Philadelphia will counter with left-hander Bailey Fall. The Marlins are 0-5 in their last five road games and 15-37 in their last 52 overall. The Phillies are 7-1 in their last eight home games and 2-6 in their last eight overall. The under is 22-8-2 in Marlins' last 32 overall. The over is 5-1-1 in Phillies' last seven overall. The Marlins are 1-4 in the last five meetings in Philadelphia and 1-7 in the last eight meetings. The Philadelphia Phillies are in a much better situation than Miami, as the Phillies are currently holding the second and final spot in the National League wild card chase and Miami is all but mathematically eliminated from playoff contention. Philadelphia has won six of the last seven against Miami and the Phillies have won six of the last eight played at home against the Marlins. Miami starter Trevor Rogers is coming off a solid outing but prior to that over a four-game stretch gave up 16 runs in 19 two-third innings and Miami lost each of those for four and the Marlins have lost each of the last five starts for Rogers. I'm not excited to lay juice with the Philadelphia Phillies 
Achilles or even get behind Bailey Falter on the mound. However, the Miami Marlins are just that bad, as this team can't score runs and the losses continue to get out of control. Trevor Rogers also isn't close to the same pitcher he was a year ago with his 5.57 earned run average, 1.56 WHIP and .280 allowed batting average. The Phillies need these games to improve their playoff odds, so the Philadelphia Phillies money line is our full game side pick. Philadelphia currently holds a wild card spot in the National League, but the Padres and Brewers are right behind them. Miami is out of playoff contention and has lost eight games in a row. Trevor Rogers has a 5.57 earned run average and has allowed 11 runs in his last 15.2 innings pitched. For the Phillies, Bailey Falter has allowed five runs over his last 18.1 innings pitched. Miami has gone under the total in five of its last six games at Philadelphia, but I expect this game to buck that trend. The Phillies should line up Rodgers for several runs in the first few innings, and they cannot afford to relent as the game goes on. They have gone over the total in six consecutive games coming into this series. Meanwhile, Falter has been hot of late, but he was pulled out of his last start due to a groin injury. He also has a small sample size of success. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Toronto Blue Jays vs. Baltimore Orioles This Wednesday, the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles will play the final game of this four-game series. The first pitch will be thrown out inside Oriole Park at Camden Yards. The last time that these two teams matched up, the Orioles were able to escape with the series win. The Toronto Blue Jays did win the first two games of this series, though. The Toronto Blue Jays are coming into this one after a tough series with the Pittsburgh Pirates. They ended up sweeping them in three games, as they looked incredible on the mound. They made an extreme extremely tough for Pittsburgh to score as they just slowly pulled away in each game. The Baltimore Orioles are entering this one after winning their previous series against the Oakland Athletics. They took the first two games of that three-game series as they also looked great on the mound. They only allowed three combined runs in their two wins as they will be looking to keep it rolling in this one. These American League East rivals are finishing up this series on Wednesday, but they still have two more series to come before the regular season ends. If the Orioles continue to impress, there's even a chance these teams could meet in the postseason. Although the doubleheader certainly didn't look great for the O's, they have a chance to salvage what's left of this series with a win in the finale. If not, they can keep things close with home field advantage as they've had a top 10 home record throughout the year. Both teams will have the day off before their weekend series start, so all hands should be on deck. It may sound surprising that the O's can pull off this upset with the Blue Jays having their ace Alec Mano on the mound. However, Toronto had lost four straight starts behind him before winning his most recent and that was also against a terrible Pirates team. Most importantly, that four-game skid began with back-to-back -back losses to the O's. Mano allowed seven runs in 10.2 innings across those two starts, one of which also had Dean Kramer on the hill for Baltimore. He'll be starting this game, and the O's have won each of his last four starts and five of his last six. Not only does that include the win over the Jays, he also upset the American League best Astros. Kramer held Houston to just one run and four hits in 7.2 innings of work, with the O's also also having a top five bullpen, they can continue to surprise people this season. So the Baltimore Orioles to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Blue Jays will be starting Alec Mano on the mound as he is 7-3 on the road this season. He is also 13-7 on the season with a 2.48 earned run average and a 1.21 WHIP. He completely shut down the Pirates in his last road start as I see him carrying that momentum over into this one. He will pitch deep into this game and he will do his part in keeping the Orioles in check at the plate. Now, I also love Dean Kremer for the Orioles. He also looked great in his last start and he only has a 3.22 earned run average on the season. He he will make it difficult for the Blue Jays at the plate as they are only hitting .226 as a team versus RHP in their last 10. They aren't seeing the ball great now and Kremer will keep them off the scoreboard for the majority of this game. Both bullpens should also perform at a high level in this game as the Baltimore bullpen has the 5th lowest bullpen earned run average and the Blue Jays have the 12th lowest. Both of these teams are doing everything they can to try and make the postseason. I love both starting pitchers in this game as they will both be able to keep this score below the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.